Hello, this is a for tutorial on how to create Space Invaders. Um, this tutorial will be creating a game screen using uh, the Super Step Machine that we created in another tutorial. And also creating a player class and a sprite class. This will hold all, uh, this will be able to store all the single sprites in our sprite map. So let's first change this because it annoyed me. Instead of a capital D, or, and you just right click it, refactor, rename, and let's create a new package and call this game under slash screen. Then create a new class and call that game screen. And then we want to implement the super state machine. And then override the methods which will add the methods that we added to the interface. And now we can add it to here. Game equals no. We'll save all first. Game screen. And we'll have to import that. And then states dot add game. So this is the first index, this will be 0 and this will be the first thing to display. So now we want to create another new package and call this uh, Sprite. Then create another new class and call this uh, uh, we'll call it Sprite Animation because we'll have the choice to animate the, the Sprite. So first let's create the constructor. This will have uh, three inputs. The X position of the screen and the Y position of the, of the screen. And then the animation speed. want to create variables for these inputs. Then we want to uh, initialize the, these for the input values. So now let's create uh, a couple of methods. the usual. Uh, 
import. Then let's create a few more variables. Billion play. So this is either going to play or animation, then stop when it's finished, or loop the animation so it continuously runs through. Then we'll create another one called after destroy after animation. So if you play and then it finishes, uh, you have a choice to destroy the animation, which we'll create a method for in a minute. So let's create the methods just then. <coughs> Public void set. Uh, let's just go play. animation billion play and another billion destroy after and, and this dot play equals play this dot destroy so if this is false it won't destroy the anime uh, this class after it's finished but if it's set to true it will destroy this class when it's finished the loop and then So now we have to create uh, a place to store the images and we'll use an array list for this. Call this sprites equals new array list buffered image. And we'll need to create a new a new class for this. Add sprite animation. Uh, well, let's just call this add sprite. Buffered image sprite. We'll call this sprite map because it will be getting a section of the image y position width and height and then sprites dot add sprite map dot get sub image and then use the x, y, width, height. So this will find a certain part of the image. Uh, I'll, I'll show you when we create the player uh, class, which will be in the next tutorial, hopefully.